It was an exciting evening for both Democrat Mary Peltola and Republican Nick Begich as their supporters gathered to follow the results. Mary Peltola's party was a low-key packed affair, but the energy lifted when she arrived to make her speech. I just am so proud of this campaign. The positivity, the love, the inclusiveness. Thank you, everybody. Her supporters felt concerned, but were behind her all the way. She's from rural Alaska, and she knows firsthand what the issues are. I just, uh, I just hope she wins, and I pray that she wins. I mean, I'm a woman, and I want a woman to win for our member of Congress and for our president. It was nothing but good news at Nick Begich's party. The atmosphere is energetic as folks are feeling confident and excited, especially after the announcement of now President Trump's victory. As the numbers started to roll in, showing him in the lead, Begich soon took to the stage. Alaska's House seat has never mattered more than it matters today. His supporters shared his confidence. We need Nick. Um, Alaska needs Nick. We're looking good tonight. I'm very excited. This this excites me. Uh, you know, he's one of the hardest working candidates. I've worked with a lot of candidates over the years, and I don't think anybody could ever outwork him. As the night wrapped up, both Mary Peltola and Nick Begich had their supporters firmly behind them. Peltola's crowd remained hopeful, while Begich's team was buzzing with confidence. Ian Stewart, your Alaska Link, Anchorage.